Hi and welcome to another episode and what we've got here is, is a Apple iPhone 15 Pro Max and as we know from the last video I was a bit of an Android fanboy so I had bought the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and along with that I bought the Watch 5 Pro. Well because I've got the watch I decided to get Apple's version of it which is the Ultra 2. And with this of course I need some bits and pieces and that's what I'm going to show you here today. As you can see, I bought a new strap. I did buy a cheap old, like, £15 one. Um, that was really bad. It was supposed to be leather, but you would think it was plastic. So I sent that back and I bought this one. This one's about £25. Um, it's just a bit of a stopgap before I buy a really fancy one. Um, you know, it's getting a bit close to Christmas and everything at the moment. So, you know, money's a bit tight after spending all the money on buying all this fancy stuff lately. Anyway, so I've enjoyed the watch that uh, I got from Samsung. It's been good to me for the past bit. But of course I want a decent setup for my Watch Ultra 2. And we can see from this strap it's it got a bit of stitching at the top there to as they fold over a bit for the bayonets. The bayonets are slightly different colour from what the watch itself is but doesn't seem to really bother me. Um, I'm going to try to get one later on that the metals do match instead of being slightly shiny um, but actually installing it's pretty easy you can just slide it on in and then on the phone itself it has these little uh, tabs that you press that then release the ends of the strap it's just remembering which way around you want the strap to be for you because some people like it having the little wheel on the other side even though it's on the left uh, wrist or same on the, the right wrist if you're a left-hander anyway it's fits very nicely, I think it looks good. Um, I would have preferred slightly darker, but this is the one that they had in stock. Um, what else can I say to it? It works, it fits nice. Um, I have already tested it already. Um, yeah, so let's move on to the next bit. Now, I want to try to protect the front of the glass. Just to point out on the Watch 5 Pro that I had, um, I did put a screen protector on there and it had a fancy little gadget that just uh, rested above it and then you poke through a hole and then the little circle of glass fitted straight on top of it. I only had to change it the once in the years that I've had it um, and thankfully I had it there because otherwise it may well have been the, the glass of the watch itself that was damaged. So anyway, I bought a slightly different idea for this Ultra 2 watch. Um, as you can see you get the bits and pieces as standard, the cleaning bits. Well, in this particular one it's a wet wipe and a dry wipe um, and then the lint uh, remover stickers that we always seem to get. Um, there's no particular makes of the for the, the strap or even for this uh, screen protector. And as you can see, sorry, I've all forgotten the, the squidgy that comes with it, which you definitely do need, it seems, uh, when applying it. So anyway, I'll mess around cleaning the, the watch off and everything and then get this thing applied. So we are, it's me applying it. So on the underneath, there's a little protector to the screen protector so that there's no dust and everything like that. So do your best of not getting your fingerprints on the inside because it will be a pain uh, getting it removed. So, you know, make sure you're, it's in your prominent hand as you're applying it. And you see the, the bubbles are trying to come out already. As I said with the phone screen protector, it always seems to be the second time around. This thing, I haven't got a second go, so I really need to get all the bubbles out in one go. Not quite as easy as it looks doing it the way that I did it. Um, basically, what I've done is I took it back off again, and then basically, 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 <laughs> as I'm applying it, I started at the bottom of the screen, and as I'm slowly resting it down, I'm using the squidgy to push out any air bubbles as it's going down. So it's a bit more fiddly doing it the way that I have done it, but it gives you a lot cleaner way of doing it, and that's probably how you're supposed to do it anyway. 
So yeah, I recommend that you start at the bottom um, and just ever so slightly at very low angles on it being there. Um, and as it's going down, push away and up to the top of the, the screen protector so that the air bubbles go that way. Um, you know, just do it that way really. And it, it's worked for, it's worked second time, but thankfully stuff, the color of the metal on the outside of the plastic, whichever it may be, be um, it's very close to being what the iPhone Ultra 2 actually looks like. And I'm assuming this is exactly the same for the Ultra as well, because let's be honest, on the outside, they look the same. So if you have an Ultra or an Ultra 2, I would recommend this as a screen protector. I don't think it takes away from the design of the watch in any which way. Um, but from what I've seen in other reviews of people who have had the Ultra for over a year, they've dinged and banged and everything. Their Ultras on the edge of, you know, as they're going through doorways or they're carrying something. Um, and now they're upset because the metal's got a little ding there. So this will hopefully protect against that. So on to the next gadget or bit we've got. And what we've got is the charging stand. Um, so you can charge the watch. And this being a retro channel, I went for something that looked a bit like a handheld uh, gaming device. Let's be honest, we don't know which one it sort of looks like. Um, but uh, it doesn't have the official name, and I'm not going to use the official name. But it's been made by Delhi Digi. And as always, I'll have the links for these bits and pieces. Um, on relative websites of where I purchased them from. I'm not sponsored by any of these products, makers or companies, not the products themselves, the companies, and I'm not sponsored by the sellers either. So, a little card saying thank you for buying it. If you're not happy, let them know. It's basically the same, isn't it, nowadays with these little things. There's no reward of leaving a dodgy review, which is always a good one. Um, because I don't agree with the dodgy review aspect of things. Either they give you £5 for leaving a review, no matter if it's rubbish or not, or $5, whichever, um, rather, as in just give you an encouragement to leave a review at all, no matter if it's good, bad, or indifferent, um, rather than the fact that you leave a review and then they moan that you haven't left a good one. This company isn't doing that which is fine. Anyway, so it's a black little handheld gaming device. That's what it looks like, at least. The buttons on the front are non-functional. It's just a stand. And to get it working, you actually need the little charger that comes with the watch. And you just feed it in. It's as simple as that. So yeah, you push the plug down the center Keep pulling the cable through gently, of course, you don't want to break anything. Make sure that the white side is facing forward through the screen, as it were. Push it down so it's all nice and snug, and then push the wire down the back so that when it does stand up, it can stand up. And then when you slide your watch in, it just magnetizes into place and while you're charging it'll actually show you a little clock which I'll show you now. I'm going to have to show you at this silly angle because if I didn't it rotates around as if you're wearing the watch. So let's have it at this silly angle and as you can see it shows it and that's basically end up with a little clock on your bedside cabinet or wherever you're keeping it and you have a nice little charging thing. It's showing green at the moment, um, but at night time, I believe that it uh, changes to red to help not burn your eyes in while you wake up sleep in the middle of the night. Anyway, let's move on. Don't forget to have a look in the description for the bits and pieces here. Don't forget to have a look for the links to the Patreon and the Discord. Always sign up, it's a good thing to do. Come and have a chat. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. But as always, happy gaming.